Welcome back to this channel. Do not forget to turn on your notification to get more updates for us. Fayoshi attacks Brari, says he would have resigned. The news in details. Former governor of Ekiti State, Ayo Fayoshi, has wondered what President Muhammad Brari is doing in Asurok to now. Fayoshi said that by refusing to resign, President Buhari was only displaying the characteristics of African presidents, who he described as shameless. The former governor feels that Nigeria's economy and security issues in the past seven years and the current security situation in Kadun and other northwest states were enough reasons for the president to resign. Speaking on channels television's politics today, Wednesday, the former governor further described the current administration as fraudulent, saying that none of its promises to the citizens were fulfilled. He said, if you say somebody has malaria, this present government is cancer. If I say someone has malaria, if you say PDP has malaria or headache, this government is cancer. This is during Jonathan administration was 100 naira, but this today is 700 naira. I can't explain it anymore. I've said it over and over. How many educational institutions are shut down today? Nothing works. I can't explain it anymore. I've said it over and over. How many education educational institutions are shut down today. Nothing works. Nigeria is an autopilot. They should stop giving excuses after seven years. The wife that left my house seven years ago still complains about the black pot in the kitchen that made her to leave. They say they can do it better. That dollar will be one to one, but dollar is 600 naira to one dollar now. There are two ways to eat. It's either we're lying we are elites, we are politicians, we can come here and say sweet things, but the man who bears the butt knows the truth. Let me tell you the truth. This government, they are 419. Original ones, he stated, they defrauded Nigerians. Someone tells you when he becomes president, the dollar will be one to one, and they went further to tell you that these refineries that you see, when they come back, Nigeria will have enough fuel and will export to other countries. These things are not adding up. He further continued, look at the security situation. I listened to General Muhammad Obrari. I listened to him when he said that he's a general and will bring his military experience to bear. But where are we today? I learned that they, sh they just released one of the victims of the train incident and the terrorists are said to have muzzled about over 100 million naira and it was just released quietly. What country are we in? He asked. He stated, if I were president of Nigeria, I would resign for too many reasons. It's only that we don't have shame in Africa. African presidents have no shame. They will be sleeping in their vomit. A lot of Nigerians have reacted to this statement of Fayoshe attacking Buhari, saying that the security in Nigeria is zero and that dollar, uh, Naira to dollar is 600, saying that a lot of things have become bad, that in Jonathan's administration things were better, things were good, that he promised Nigeria a lot of things but didn't fulfill it. And he also said he's a military man, he's going to bring his military experience to bear. But at the end of the day, the insecurity is still rising. Of course, Sakalechi said, all of you from coming out to run for election is just talking about PMB. None has said what it can do for Nigeria. So, of course, Akalechi is saying that most of them are just coming out to attack President Muhammad Buhari, and nobody is saying anything. Nobody is stating what is the way forward for Nigeria. And there's been a lot of insecurity we can see. They just even recently released a victim of the Abuja train, of the Abuja to Kaduna train, um, abduction because they abducted some people they just released one of the victims and he had to pay over 100 million naira for his release and even in the video the terrorists said they don't want money that all they want is to all they want that the government knows all they want that the government should fulfill all their demands that it is no money they want and that if the government does not fulfill them demands that they will waste the lives of the remaining people in their custody Olatuku Omotusi said, Your Excellency, my former governor, when our president is shameless, the legislators don't know their duties. Otherwise, they ought to have got him impeached and arrested and duly persecuted for so many 
or fences? Well, I can't say, but truly, Buhari is meant to have been impeached by now. So I don't know why he is still in power if the legislators can't do anything and take a vote on this. Another person, Olu, said, I don't know why Nigerian politicians like to make matter about situations of things in Nigeria. Well, I feel that Nigeria's problem cannot be solved by only one man alone. It will have to take a lot of efforts, a lot of collective effort. It will have to take the miracle of God. It will have to take a divine intervention because this country is finished. It's totally to the ground and no wonder people are pushing for their separate nation no wonder the Igbos want a separate nation no wonder the Yobas want a separate nation because they are tired of nigeria as a whole people are no more preaching one nigeria united this one no everybody are like to your tent or israel let us just separate because nigeria is not working for anybody Justin Ogujiri said, What of you, sir? During your regime, what did you do? All we see is suing an Ankara for primary school people. You did nothing. Only drama belt of the same feathers do waiting complete arm. Well, that's true. All the politicians are the same. They come out to talk. Oh, Nigeria would not be like this if I were to be president. If I were to be president, this one, this one will happen. But all of you make promises that you don't fulfill. Politicians are liars. They lie and they don't fulfill their promises. They carry out campaigns. They carry out um, a lot of things. They put in their manifesto. They promise us a lot of things in their manifesto, telling us what they are going to do to better Nigeria, telling us what they are going to do to better the states and everything. And at the end of the day, we don't see any of them. So all of them are all liars, to be sincere. Esther Zobotoni said, it is too late for the president to resign his position at this time. This would have happened years ago, not now. The bandits are calling on the federal government to meet them. Bandits for what reason not disclosed? Well, this, the demands of the bandits have definitely risen a lot of eyebrows as people are trying to understand why the bandits are saying that the federal government know what they want. And which is unclear to us. What did they want? Because there's a sort of there's a sort of familiarity there. It seems like the federal government knows what these bandits want, but are not giving them. Another person, Gladys Adeyemi, said, "I wonder if you could have done better. If, in the face of the overwhelming insecurity, you are still talking of 2023 elections and you're running as a president, restructuring Nigeria should be in the lips of all lovers of Nigerians." Isaac Ejim said, you were there when PDP brought terrorism into Nigeria. Did you resign? According to Owo Pelu said, I of Fayoshe is a blatant liar and a thief. Stop all those fallacies and be real. Well, it's not me. It's Nigerians reacting to what is said. It's so sad that no one believes our politicians now. And all they receive is insult because they have failed to fulfill all the promises they made in their manifestos. They have failed to fulfill all the promises they made in their campaigns. Which is really sad to see. We hope and we, 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 we just want, we just, we just want a separate thing. Let Nigeria just divide and let everybody go their separate ways because Nigeria is not the Nigeria we know. No wonder Sunday Bo is pushing for an independent nation. No wonder in Africa, no wonder people are saying, let us just go to our separate states and start our nation. Well, do not forget to comment and tell me how you feel about this news reaching you right now. Click the like button and subscribe. <laughs>